everybody's like, please, for the love of God, open the box. <laughs> That's how it sounds when you don't actually know what you're talking about. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today is another very exciting day, as they all are, because today I'm doing something a little bit differently on this channel. This isn't exactly a recipe video, but I am going to be making something, hopefully, <laughs> later on in this video. So if you guys can see this guy right here, it's the Philips 3100 automatic espresso machine. And I got sent this machine like two years ago when I was working with them. But I, for some reason, decided that I wanted to try manual espresso. Thus me learning more about these types of machines. As you can see here, we have the Breville Barista Express. It's beautiful. It literally looks like a coffee shop in your house. And I looked at different models. I was researching a ton. So I'm going to do an unboxing of it today. I am not... A professional barista I don't really know that much about coffee still keep in mind I'm in Canada so everything here is more expensive but it's $8.99 and it's 20% off but then our tax here is 15% so basically it was like $830 I think quick start guide I'm gonna need this this is a porta filter but this is where the coffee goes in and then you pack it down and you put it in the machine and the water goes through and the espresso drips out of here so these are the different baskets that fit inside the porta filter, like I said, so the coffee goes in here. So it comes with two single wall ones. So this is for if you're just making one espresso, and then this bigger size is if you're making two. You can see it's quite a bit bigger. And then, so these are called single wall filters, and you use them with like fresh ground coffee beans. And then if you are using pre ground coffee, not grinding your own, then you use these ones, which are just a little bit different. Then we've got the tamper. I'm gonna need Greg's help to get this out. <laughs> this is very heavy. Guess what this is, guys? This is a cup warmer on top. We have our milk jug, and this is stuff for cleaning. This is for steaming your milk. The thing that goes on top of the grinder. This is called a hopper. I know so many coffee words. Oh, got it. Under here is storage, so you can put your extra baskets in there. This gets stored there, and then put this in there. You do your milk. <laughs> is that how you make a coffee? Warning, I have no idea what this is for. That's just for the water filter, don't worry guys. I think that's gonna be the unboxing portion for this video. I'm gonna get it set up, I'm gonna read my quick start guide, and then we're going to try and make a coffee. Hello everyone, I'm back. It's only been like 30 seconds for you, but it's been an entire week for us. So when I did the unboxing video, as you could tell, I didn't really know a ton about the machine. And right after we filmed that video, I tried making my first espresso shot. And it was pretty much the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. It was disgusting and dark and burnt there was no crema there was there was nothing it was horrible and then I proceeded to make eight more <laughs> changing the grind settings and like all the settings trying to figure out how to use it they were all terrible and I was about to give up when one of my friends said well maybe your coffee is stale you should try a fresh bag of beans so then I did and we played around with it a bit more and I finally figured it out at least I mean we kind of did we're no baristas still it's I mean it's a learning curve but now we can make pretty good espresso so this is kind of like a beginner's how-to guide for using this machine it's not like the barista guide maybe that will come someday I'm not sure but I am going to show you guys how we pull a shot <laughs> and hopefully it will help you first things first you need to get a fresh bag of coffee you want one that's been roasted I think in the past they recommend like in the past 10 days so when you're buying one just look at the date that it was roasted and then just pick one that's pretty recent this is probably one of the most important things you always want to check your water level because it doesn't tell you when it's getting low on water and if you run out of water then it can like burn the parts inside so to do that you just lift this 
so we're gonna be using the double shot portafilter basket and you literally just press it in i'm gonna turn it on and it's going to all of these lights are going to start flashing and then once they're all lit up and not flashing anymore then it means that it's ready we usually leave it on and preheat it while we like make our breakfast and stuff which means that this will get nice and hot and everything inside will get nice and hot i'll show you what to do if you don't have time to preheat it because we're not going to have time right now so to do that without preheating it you just press the single shot button and it will just run some hot water and you can just like run this under the hot water and you want to make sure that the inside of it is perfectly dry so that there's no droplets of water or condensation or anything like that and then you want to add your coffee beans you just want to do enough that you probably need so that they don't get kind of stale you can adjust the grind size on the side here this is the part <laughs> that really takes some getting used to but to start off just to start making your first cup of coffee i just recommend doing what they say they say to start at a five and then to have this grind amount at the three o'clock position and then you put it in this is where the grinds come out and to do an automatic amount of coffee you just click it in once and then i saw someone in a youtube video do this before they took it out so they just tapped it to settle the beans then you want to tap it gently on the counter and then you want to press it down until the black line is in line with the top of the portafilter Put it in here crank it over to the lock position and you press the double shot button and then you pray <laughs> to the coffee gods that this dial gets up into the espresso range It's a good one. <laughs> it's a buy. It's a buy. How beautiful. This is the crema that I was talking about. This like kind of creamy stuff on top. It is actually quite easy once you get the hang of it. You will go through some coffee obviously while you're practicing, but make sure you have fresh beans and you should be okay. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you have been debating getting this machine, I personally highly recommend it. I know it's not cheap, but if you are in the market for a bit more expensive coffee machine, then this is definitely a good way to go. I definitely like it better than my automatic one. I think it makes better coffee and you just have more control over everything. So the overall consensus is two thumbs up from me. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment below if you guys are home baristas or if you have this machine or if you like it, let me know. Um, and you know, if you wanna tag me in your coffee stuff on Instagram, I am at itslivebee. So thank you guys again for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.